Over the last two days, I got a request to, from two different people to show you how to download AutoCAD at home. So I'm going to tell you right now, AutoCAD is made by a company called Autodesk. They do not take it very kindly if you take their software and steal it um, and use it for business purposes. This, what I'm about to show you is for educational purposes only. And if you're a teacher, there's uh, an edu you know, you can do that. You can download it for your classrooms. Um, you can also, um, if you're a student, you can download it at home. And I'm going about, I'm about to show you how to do that. All right. So we'll start by clicking on it, opening a new tab, and we'll just type students. Dot autodesk. Dot com, and hit enter. The Autodesk website comes up right here. It says download free software. Click on students, education, edu uh, whatever. Boy, that went faster than I thought. So this is where it says you get your free software. All of their products are here. These are all the different things you can get for free, including um, uh, Revit and um, Maya is in here. Um, there's other things you can get, 3D Studio Max and all. But we're just going to go back to the free software. Click on AutoCAD. All right. We're going to create a new account right here. Um, when you come back in later on, you'll sign in this way. Uh, you can get up to three years of updates per login. So when you put in an email address, you can get three years of updates. So click on uh, create a, an account. You put in whatever country you live in. I happen to live in the United States. Uh, my educational role in this case, I'm showing you how to log in as a student, so that's what we're going to do. Log in as a student. Since this is a fake account, April 1st seems like an appropriate birth date. Um, so we'll go there. My first name um, is Inter, and last name is Deller. Um, put in your email address. All right, put in whatever your password is. Your password has to have one of or these features in it right there. So um, make sure you your password has all of that. So um, here's where you check the terms and agreements. I'm going to suggest that you go through this thoroughly because they don't take kindly to it as I said before so make sure you go through there I've done it before so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and agree to these terms I'm gonna create an account uh, and I should be receiving an email in my email account so I'll go do that right now verify Verify the email. You do not have to check this if you don't want to get those communications. Um, in this case, I'm not going to. Area of study. Educational institution. You can put down um, wherever you go to school. I'm going to put in Kettle Run High School. My area of study uh, could be architecture and engineering, could be media and entertainment, could be product and design and manufacturing. Um, we could go into all of these things. Maybe there's something else in there. So I'm going to say that I was, I'm enrolled from, let's say it's this year, from August 2016, graduate in May of uh, 2017. It'd be about, what, 2019? So that would get me probably good through that part right there. Alright, so now I have an account. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now, I'm back to where I'm, I'm ready to install my software, right? So, um, I've signed in. I have my account. Uh, right now, we're just going to click download now. The version we're going to pick is, I would pick the newest version of it. You can pick the older versions if you want, but the newest version is the going to give you the best stuff. Um, so, let's do 
Corning 17. Whatever your operating system is, uh, the ones I use is a 64-bit, and the language I speak is English, but if you speak something else, uh, whatever that is, go ahead and pick that. But pick the language that you would like this to be in. And then it gives you a serial number and a product key. Um, tells you how big it's going to be. And then you just click install now. All right. You go through this whole thing, re uh, rejecting, accepting, all of that as it goes through there. Now, um, you do whatever it says for you to do on your system. Uh, you go all the way through to load the software. You've probably loaded software before. But that it's that you know, this is as easy as it gets. I'm not going to go any farther uh, because I've probably broken a few of, Auto, few of Autodesk's rules already, um, and I uh, don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So that's it. Um, that's how you download it. Then you, the other questions will be about the software, and I'll share that stuff with you later.